Hello everyone, the point of sale scan table QR code module will help the user to generate an order website to point of sale directly with the help of the QR code generated on each table. After installing this module, we need to do some configuration. So let's get into the point of sale. Under the configurations, we can see and floor plan. We need to get into that. And here I have created and floors. So let's get into one of the floor that I have created before. In this page, you can see that I have added the floor name, point of sale session, and here I have added the website URL. I just add this local host as a website URL here. And once everything is done, here we can add the uh, table. Now let's create a table, okay, by clicking on the add a line which is available here. Now let's create a table for five, okay, and the seat will be N4. And you can just fill other informations right away here. Okay, now let's save this one. And here you can see that there will be a no QR code generated as well as the link. So now to generate, we need to click on this option to generate. Now you can see that for the table 5, it will automatically generate an unique table URL. Okay, and also the QR image to scan the same. So now save this one. And after enabling this, let's get into the settings where you can see an option to enable and flows right away here we need to enable this option so once this is done we need to do under this configurations for the website page so let's get into the website under the configurations let's get into the settings and here you can see an option to enable and restaurant website if you enable this option if you place any order in the website page it will automatically reflect it in the point of sale session okay now after enabling all the options now let's create and product to create and product we need to get in the inventory and the products we can see the products okay and let's get into one of the product that we have created and here you can see that for this product we have enabled an is table order and once everything is done let's get into an website page to place an order so here under the shop let's place an order and we can place using an URL too. So for that, let's get into the point of sale. And from here, under the floor plans, let's get into the first one. And here, this is the table that we have created now. So for this particular table, okay, let's copy the URL and paste it on the next tab. So if you enable and product add in the table order, it will add those product right away here in this particular link. So as you can see in here, I am in the login of Mohitrana. So let's place an order for the burger. So I'm adding this product into the cart and let's place an order by process checkout and let's pay now. Okay. So once the order placed, now let's get into the back end and from here, let's get into the sales. And this is the order that we have placed now. Okay. And here you can see that for the floor one, we place an order for table five because we take the link from the table five. Okay. So here you can see that it will be automatically placed. So let's check the same on the point of sale. So let's get, get, let's get into the point of sale here. The point of sale. Here, let's log in as a bar. So here in this table five, you can see that there will be one order placed. So to get an order, you can just click on the table orders right away here where you can see that one order will be placed for burger. Okay, now let's send this to the kitchen and you can just make a payment right away here. It will automatically fetch and customer as well. Okay, so here you can see that it will be in the quotation state. After completing the payment in the point of sale, let's refresh this page. And here you can see that it would be automatically change the states to the sale order. And you can see those orders will be there under the orders. You can see the orders and this order will be placed completely and you can just see the tables right away here. So in this way, we can make use of this module to help the user to generate an order website to the point of sale directly with the help of the QR code generated on each table. If you have any queries regarding this video, you can ask in the comment box. We will definitely solve your queries. And if you feel this video is helpful to you, you can like this video and subscribe our YouTube channel for more Odoo related updates. To see more about and point of sale related module, check our browse info playlist to see all newly updated point of sale features that we have. Thanks for watching.